In PowerShow 2015, we have new functionality where we can fit arcs to planar curves. We can do this inside a number of different functions inside PowerShow. So first of all, I'm going to create a dynamic section. I'm just going to take a section through Z and I'm going to create a composite curve and say close. Once I've got this composite curve, I'm just going to isolate this one. And you can see we've got a curve created with a number of different points on there. So now I'm going to go to my new functionality where I can fit arcs to planar curve. When I select that, get our arc fitting dialog. I'm just going to leave it with the default values for now. And you can see we've fitted arcs and lines to our curve. So this is handy for reverse engineering because we're eliminating all of those points which would give us a bad surface. What we can do with this is use our active dimensioning. We can come in here and we can change the dimensions like so. We can also view this functionality within the dynamic sectioning tool. If I create a cross section, as before, just zoom in slightly, we can go to arc fitting, go to our options, and you can see that we've already fitted our dynamic section with arcs and lines. And finally, we can access the arc fitting tool inside the oblique curve options. So I'm just going to create an oblique curve along my x-axis. I'm going to do a distance of 10. I'm going to say arc fitting and then open up my options. So you can see if I zoom in here that we've got arcs and lines fitted to my oblique sectioning. And now I'll just describe what these parameters are doing. So we've got the alignment angle, so that is going to give us any line that is between 0 and 0 0.1 at the moment um, away from one of my axes is going to snap to my axis. So I can set this to a high value of 10, so anything between 0 and 10 degrees of an axis is going to snap to it. I'm just going to leave it at 0 0.1. Then we've got the discontinuity angle here. So that means if we have a straight line and the two points are less than 30 degrees apart from each other, we're going to have a straight line. So if I set this value to be much smaller, say 1 degree, we're going to have a lot more points showing up on our lines. So I'll just click away, and then you can see that here, like so. So I'm going to set that back to 30. And now I can just say the maximum radius does what it says on the tin. We've got a maximum radius here of 1,000. So I can change this. I can drop it down to, I'll put 5 click anywhere else and you can see that we've no longer got a curve spanning all along here because our maximum radius is set to 5 millimeters. We also have these options here of a low and high fit. So if I drop this down you can see our fit changes slightly so it doesn't fit quite so well and then if I move it upwards we get a much better fit of our arcs and lines to our section. 